This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. This is my review of the new Slingbox 500. This device allows you to watch live TV anywhere in the world on your computer, on your iPhone, or your tablet, and uh, it will allow you to watch this thing and you'll be able to control your TV just like you were sitting there in front of it. Now, I'm going to check out this device to see whether it's going to be worth your hard earned money. So, let's go and start the review. I should just take a look at the design of this slim box. It really doesn't look like a box at all. It has a pretty weird shape to it, uh, but I, I think it's pretty cool. But the one thing is that you are going to be having this on your home theater setup. You can't really put anything on top of it. But anyway, as we take a look at the back, you'll find all the inputs and outputs. Um, on the right-hand side, you find all the component in and component out um, inputs there. Then you'll find HDMI out, HDMI in. You'll find an Ethernet port. Uh, this thing also has built-in Wi-Fi, so don't worry about that. It also has a USB port, which will allow you in the future to be able to plug in a USB thumb drive or something like that and play uh, videos and play pictures and things like that off of that as well as the IR port which works with the uh, uh, included remote control that you can use to control these settings and things like that and helps you out uh, with the setup process of the sling box and speaking of the setup process, it was pretty straightforward and simple. Now the Sling Box comes with all the different cables, the HDMI cables and component cables that you're going to need to get up and running. And now currently the Sling Box doesn't work over HDMI, meaning that you can't stream uh, video over HDMI to you know be able to play on your cell phone and stuff like that. So you have to use the included component cables, which is not a really a big deal at all, but that's just something to note. All right, once you get set up, you're all set to go. Now, again, there's two ways you can watch your TV. You can watch it on your computer, whether your desktop, your laptop, via the browser, or you can watch it on your cell phone, your tablet, via an application. So now I'm just going to show you how it looks in the browser. I'm going to open up Safari here on my Mac. And then now this is what it's going to look like once you start the Sling Box. And now you have a couple options here that you can do here from the screen. I can favor this channel if I wanted to. I can also bring up different controls. Uh, this is going to be kind of the DVR controls for me to record and things like that. I can record this, uh, whatever's playing on the TV, back in my DVR at home I can also have just the regular player controls I'm watching a video or something like that I can do that and then also too you can find some different controls where you can control the quality of the video stream depending on your internet connection you can have it go auto or you can choose it to go minimum good better best or the absolute best which is going to be 1080p HD and also if I click this again I can go back here you can change the aspect ratio there also you can change the different sources that you may have plugged in uh, into the sling box itself and then now you can also change the channels right over here I can go up one channel and I uh, should be going to ESPN Sports Center. It takes a, it's a little bit delay here uh, when changing the channels, but it's not that bad at all. But you can see the quality still remains very consistent. If I go back here, I can pop out a remote control and I can actually just control it via this. So again, I can press record and I go ahead and start recording uh, this as it shows me right there. Hit OK. And then now you can navigate your, your TV programming just using this remote control and I can move this anywhere on the screen just like that. I right, now about to show you how this thing works on your mobile device. Now Slingbox does have a Sling Player application that is available on Android and iOS, so they have both sides covered. So anyway, you download that application and then you log in with your account and then you're set to go to go ahead and start watching live TV. Now once you load up the application, you'll see that it's a pretty well designed um, app. Everything seems to be laid out pretty smooth, no hangups, anything like that. And you have all the different controls, just like I showed you in the web browser, to be able to uh, control the DVR functionality, to be able to change the channels and things like that. And then one thing they added to this mobile application is it does have support for touch gestures so if you swipe left or swipe right you'll go through your favorite channels uh, then also too, if you swipe up and swipe down you'll change the channel up and down and so streaming does work over 3G, does work over LTE, and also, of course, it does work over Wi-Fi. And again, you can change the quality of the stream depending on your connection, or you can just have it auto, so it'll go ahead and automatically determine what's going to be the best feed for you. And now if you're worried about data charges and things like that, this is going to be pretty much like the same data charges that you'll see if you use the Netflix application or the Hulu application. So it's not going to be anything more, anything less. It'll be around those same type of charges. And as you can see, the quality of the video that's being streamed to my computer or my mobile device is pretty consistent and pretty solid. And it has very nice quality out, out of any device that does something similar to this. The Slingbox uh, did produce the best quality in my book. So now let me go ahead and wrap up this review. Now the Slingbox definitely has a lot of good things going forward. The video quality is really good. The applications are very well made. And also to just setting up is pretty easy. It's a simple process. I think everybody will be able to set it up in just a few minutes. And if you're looking for that solution to be able to watch TV, your full cable TV that you're paying for, to be able to watch everything on the go, uh, this is definitely going to be the best choice for you. Now my main problem with this device is just the price point. So the Slingbox 500 that I showed you here today costs $299 or $300, which wouldn't be too bad, but if you wanted to watch this thing on your cell phone or on your tablet, you have to pay another $15 for each of those applications. And yes, I said each, they're not universal apps. So on my iPad, I had to pay $15 for the Sling Player application. Then on my iPhone, I had to pay another $15. So you're looking at $330 when everything is all said and done, which I don't like. I think for that price point, these applications should either be free or just $15 
for a universal app but if you can see past that price point you will find that this is a very nice solid device that will be able to get you your again your full tv anywhere you are in the world and the stream is pretty consistent the video quality is there so anyway guys this is my review of the sling box 500 but before we head out of here it's going to take one let's look at our sponsor for this video Today's sponsor is Netflix. If you didn't know, Netflix can stream movies and TV shows to your TV set, your computer, your cell phone, your tablet via the Netflix application. It's also available on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation, Nintendo Wii. Almost everything now has a Netflix app for you to be able to watch all the TV shows and movies that you want to anytime that you want to. So if you want to go ahead and try out Netflix, you can go to netflix.com forward slash soldier and get your free trial membership. Again, that's netflix.com forward slash soldier. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about the Slingbox 500, and I will catch you later. Peace.